with the title update 11 here we have the new smg uh exotic the backfire so with the backfire there is a lot of power into this gun but also this gun can be deadly to yourself so today i want to go over the backfire how you can get it um my review about it and everything about the backfire exotic smg in Tyler date 11 so if you enjoyed this video a like would be super appreciated and let's get into this so the backfire is a new smg that came into title update 11 now this gun it's a really really good gun but also it can be a really really bad gun depending how you can actually use it because you have to change kind of change your mindset how to use the gun because we are so used to shooting the gun reload the gun as soon as we kill an enemy reload the gun or if we fill three shots we are already reloading for i don't know next fight but with the backfire you really have to be careful about reloading this gun on reload it applies a 10 second bleed to yourself which deals 0.5 percent armor damage per stack and those stacks can go up to 200 now that can actually be really deadly for you because you want to get that 200 right because that's where the potential of this gun comes in but when you get to 200 or the max or close to max stack um you are on the risk of dying depending how you're playing with the gun if you don't have a counter to that bleed but with that said though this gun uh with a max stack it can be pretty strong so the special talent of the backfire is called payment in kind so dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of one percent critical hit damage up to 200 stacks lasting 10 seconds um so that's basically a potential of 200 percent critical hit damage and there is no other gun or smg at least as of right now in the game that can get to that amount of critical hit damage just by hitting the enemy right with the gun this gun has a really really great talent for a lot of damage but like i said it has a risk so it's high risk high reward type of gun and i do like that though i do like that but some people uh depending what type of build because a lot of people like to go straight up all damage uh, this might not work for that type of build now the way to get this gun actually you have to unlock it on the season pass if you go on the season pass i go all the way up to 55 here is where you can find the smg exotic backfire so once you unlock it you can come on the map uh activate your target loot and look where smgs will drop so for example if i go and do the lincoln memorial i do have a chance of it being dropping in lincoln memorial if someone drops a uh, exotic on that mission that has the target loot submission gun activated another way that you can get a backfire is probably with the exotic cash now you can actually get exotic cash weekly by doing projects we have the legendaries projects and also for example we have the easiest one this one right here which i have not done yet uh but once you do it it's like easy every week you have one of these uh, you just gotta donate components or stuff like that and you basically get a free exotic cash each week so keep an eye for that for a uh, free exotic so comparing the mpx and the backfire they basically the same gun now if you look in here my mpx uh it does have a little bit more damage because right now uh, on title update 11 on the launch uh the core attributes for some guns are bugged my mpx is 16.1 percent uh smg damage but that's 15 right supposed to be anyways uh the base damage right it's 53.1 same goes to the backfire 53.1 because like i said they are the same type of gun uh which is the mpx rpm is going to be the same uh 850 and the mag the backfire is going to be a little bit higher because it comes with the attribute magazine size which is not going to change so all is going to come with that with that said though um the mpx is a great substitute if you like the backfire 
um, is going to be a great substitute for those builds that I'm talking about full damage where you have no counter for that bleed because that bleed can kill you. Now, this is not a build video, but I know a lot of you guys are going to ask what build I'm using. So this is the build that I'm using. It's basically the same build I post yesterday. So basically is uh, going to be a four of the new gear set Hunter's Fury. Um, and then the chest piece is gonna be a Sokolov with a talent intimidated for that 35% amplified damage and for the backpack I did change the backpack right now I'm going with the new uh, brand set the bellstone armory and this one is the name item liquid engineer because it gives you the talent perfect but blood sucker killing an enemy adds a stack and refresh a stack of 12% bonus armor for 10 seconds and max stacks is 10 so that's a potential of 120 uh, percent bonus armor that you can get if you get the whole 10 stacks uh, because um you need that bonus armor to activate the intimidated on the chest piece and not only that you need some type of armor to kind of back it up like i said to uh hold that bleed once you reload the gun and not only that right one piece bellstone armory has this one percent armor regen now i know it's not a lot but at least it's something to kind of back it up this is not my best build to back this up for the bleed uh, but that's just a close one that i got right now for the stats if you ask the backfire in here on this build is going to be 52 percent crit chance uh 118 critical hit damage uh go on the defensive is going to be uh 16 000 armor regen per second and then 337 armor on kill without counting that bonus armor that we're getting from blood sucker so that's all i have to say about the backfire like i said it's a super a strong uh, smg but with a great power comes a great responsibility <laughs> but yeah because this gun can actually um murder the user of the gun because if you don't pay attention to that bleed and just reload on the bad time um you will be dead probably so but anyways the weapon has a huge potential for 200% critical damage and uh, let me know what you guys think of this gun are you getting it is this gonna be the best smg compared to the lady death because lady death is probably uh the top comp competitor against the backfire um but yeah let me know which one you guys think is gonna be uh the best smg on title of the 11 that's all for the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video hit me with the like i would appreciate if you're new to the channel hit me with that subscription and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace